students these days have a lot on their plates. Thankfully, when it comes to cafeteria food, improvements are on the menu. Angel San Juan explains in this week's Crisis in the Classroom. Breakfast and lunch at schools are becoming more than an option for students. They are now an essential part of their daily lives. Without the meals they get on campus, many boys and girls would not get the nutrition they need. Some don't get it at home. That's why the pressure is on child nutrition directors to get it right, and they've learned that the best school lunches to serve include the healthiest food you can find. They're lower in sodium, lower in fat, lower in cholesterol. They're nutritionally balanced, and they are also um, provide for lunch one-third of your um, needs for students, for children. Um, breakfast provides a third, lunch provides a third, so that's two-thirds of your nutritional needs per day for students that they would receive if they ate school meals. But taste is also key. School lunch programs have learned that meals served to children must be healthy but also delicious so they will eat the food. The Beaumont Independent School District has come up with a unique approach to make that possible. Incorporated a chef into our department who is maximizing the um, cooking skills among our employees and um, teaching them how to, how to cook healthy without having to add extra fat or frying and um, helping to maximize the nutrition of those meals. Beaumont and Port Arthur ISDs both offer free breakfast and lunch to all students and more Texas districts are advocating that the state adopt universal free school meals, especially since according to Feeding America, one in eight Texas children don't get enough to eat. And, and this might be their only meal for the day, the two meals that they're getting at, at school will be the only thing they eat until they come back. But providing our youth with healthy and appetizing school meals takes a village. That's why BISD recently took part in National School Lunch Week, inviting community members to try what students are eating and also students themselves have a say on what they'll be getting on the menu in the future. We taste test our foods and we involve students in there also to help rate them. They also can attend food shows that occur once a year in the in, the, in Beaumont area. Um, and so they give their feedback on the foods that we um, are serving them. In Beaumont, I'm Angel San Juan reporting. In addition to school lunch week during October, school districts in Texas will also take part in the Farm Fresh Challenge, which highlights the food grown and produced by Texas farmers that's used in the meals school districts make for students. If you have a situation in your school district you'd like for us to look into, you can call our Crisis in the Classroom hotline 223-7512 or send us an email to crisis at kfdm.com.